Maybe it's not easy, but uh... good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, good afternoon once again. Um, I'd like to echo what everyone is saying that uh, Dulo was all about making everyone happy. If he found you sad, he would make sure by the time he's leaving you, you're happy. And that's very symbolic. By the time he's leaving you, by the time he's leaving you, you're happy. You're happy. So I have so much to say about this young man. He challenged me in so many things. Of course, I can't play basketball. Of course, I can't play football. But uh, let me read what I took forever to write. <laughs> because if I don't read, I will talk here the whole day and we, we don't want to do that. So. When I realized I was pregnant, I felt I wasn't ready. And since in those days, back in the day, there, were, there was no pressure of knowing the gender. So I wasn't worried about you being a girl or a boy. I was worried about the human we were supposed to take care of. I was young and uncertain, but because I love kids, I still love kids. I chose you. I chose to be with you. When I held you in my arms for the first time and looked into your eyes, all the uncertainty went out through the window and I knew I had made the right decision. You made motherhood so, so beautiful and gave me purpose, you gave me hope and it was us against the world. Joe, you are empathetic, very handsome, charming, charismatic, funny, ambitious, sporty, and in the recent past, you had an appetite for three. You had already envisioned your life after high school, and I was ready for any challenges that would halt your vision. Because remember, it was us against the world. You wanted to be a pilot, and you had promised me that you would fly me around the world. And our first destination would have been Kobe Bryant's Memorial Park, since you love basketball so much. In the recent past, you loved bracelets so much, and one of the days, you came home adorning one with my brand name, Karebi, because he's a young star, Kamunaskia Nimoa Naimba. I do Mokibi, and he always laughed at me singing Mokibi. He even used to ask me, Nani anaskiza Mokibi? But when he came back with that bracelet, um, it made me understand that you appreciated my sacrifices, and that you appreciated my sleepless nights to give you the best I could. Some nights you would stay up late waiting for me to come back home from work, and when I got home, you would tell me, Mave, he used to call me Mave. I can't call Mave, honestly. But if it came from Joe, I would take it. So he used to tell me, Mave, go and sleep, I'll take care of Jeremy as you rest. Um, when I heard you were traveling back home from school at night for the first time, I stayed up the whole night waiting for you to come home. And indeed, you got home. Home to your Father in Heaven. Tears cannot wash away the pain. The sad reality will never go away. Your beautiful memories 
are my healing journey. The beautiful tributes from everybody. Yes. And with that, I choose not to mourn you. I choose to celebrate you. June, I love you beyond the moon. Thank you. A big clap to Mamajo. Kare, I think between being called uh, Made and Wemze, <laughs> I think Made sounds much, much better. Because <laughs> we always used to be called Wemze. Anyway, I think uh, that brings us to the end of the tributes. And uh, before, before I leave, I think it's only courteous for me to recognize family. Uh, that are in the room. So I'll start with the Shoshos and the Ukas from both sides of the family. I see some that are here, you can just stand and wave apart from your auntie. But the rest, Shoshos and Ukas, you can just stand and wave. Shoshos and Ukas of Joe, both sides of the family. Let's give a wave. We have so many uncles and aunties in the room. Atanyinis Mameni Tafadani, let's give a wave as well. Uncles, aunties from both sides of the family. Thank you very much. And cousins, because I know we, we literally just told a few people to, or we only told one cousin to come and speak. So all the cousins who are here, kindly just start that wave. Cousins. Chabakali boys, I know you're represented. So can we have the boys from Chabakali just standing and waving at us, please? And to all of you, who've come, this is not a vote of thanks, somebody else will be here to give a vote of thanks, but this is to just appreciate all of you uh, for being with us and to, by standing with us this morning uh, to this particular moment uh, in this very tough moment. So I hand you back to my co-MC, Nashibai. Thank, Thank you so much, Moriah. Wonderful job. Asante sana. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we are doing very well. And um, thank you so much for every tribute said, uh, presented, and not presented, written down. We appreciate you. Um, I want us to give a round of applause to two special people in this room. I'm a parent. And to raise a superstar for only 17 years, a huge legacy great impact, a lot of interesting things that this young man had started. It takes wisdom, it takes courage, it takes commitment, and it takes a lot of love. I want us to give a standing ovation to the two parents of Joe, Mr. Modulo and uh, Karim. Let's give them a standing ovation and appreciate them. I mean, parents, you are wonderful. You've done a wonderful job. We love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You gave us a friend. You gave us a son. You gave us a schoolmate. You gave us a star. We appreciate you. Hi, Nichiri. Ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the end of our first session of uh, our first part of the service. And now we are heading to the second one, which is going to be taken over by the church. The church that is leading us is the church where Joe used to fellowship with the mother, and that is um, Nairobi Chapel, Karen. And uh, I'm going to request Reverend David Kabibi to come and take over. And uh, also request that uh, Zippy, you take your position 
as we get prepared to start with the offer.